What's going on guys? Just finished showing in the East Village to some two-bed clients uh, and I had a couple thoughts that are directly related to my fellow real estate agents who work on the tenant side of the business. So one of the main differences between taking out tenants and showing them other people's apartments as opposed to renting your own listings is obviously you have much less control over the outcomes and all of the variables because those tenants are going around with a bunch of other brokers. Now when I met my tenants today, you know, I was like, hey, what have you guys been up to so far today? And they told me, oh, we've been taking a look at apartments with, you know, three or four other brokers and we've seen a bunch of stuff. And most other agents would hear that and feel defeated. You know, automatically your mind starts going, oh, they probably found something better than what I'm going to show them. Oh, there's competition, yada, yada, yada. This is all mental chatter that doesn't really mean anything because you don't know what that client is ultimately going to decide upon first meeting. So my suggestion is instead of focusing so much on the apartments you're showing, start trying to build rapport with those clients, all right? Make small talk, crack jokes, have a good time, enjoy yourself. If they have fun, if they have a good time with you, you're gonna build better rapport with them. Look, at the end of the day, whether they pick an apartment you show them or someone else shows them, it's not really that much in your control when you're working with tenants. But if you can build a relationship and make an impression, not only could you maybe rent them, not only could you maybe rent them an apartment and make a commission off of that one deal, but you can also get access to all of their contacts through referrals. Because if they have a good experience with you, they're more likely to recommend their friends. So there's a lot of agents out there, and I fall into the, you know, the tendency myself to want to just focus on listings, 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 and only renting your listings. And that's great, and that's how to successfully build a long-lasting business. But having more relationships is always better. Because the tenant that you're renting an $1,800, $2,000 apartment to this year, within the next two years, is going to be at a $2,500, $3,000 apartment. And then in the next two years after that, is going to be looking to buy something for between $500 and $1 million. So, so when you're taking out tenants and there's so many factors that you can't control, and your overall success rate is going to be less than with your own listings, instead shift your focus. Focus on building a relationship with that tenant. If you rent the apartment, great. If not... Yeah. If not, continue to stay in touch because I have leads and clients in my database right now that I was speaking to about apartments two years ago that never rented anything with me, never saw anything with me, yet have sent me multiple referrals because they remember my energy.